Hi, I'm April Hobbs and I am the Adult Services Librarian over at St. Paul's Hollywood Bridge. And today we're going to make fried bread in honor of Native American Heritage Month. So it's exciting, it's bread and it's fried, so we all know it's going to be good. So what we're going to start first is you're going to have your ingredients. You need all-purpose flour, you need baking powder, you need salt, you need warm water, and vegetable oil for frying. So let's get started. So I'm going to add my all two cups of all-purpose flour to my bowl. Next, we're going to take two, tea, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So make sure you get two. And a half teaspoons of baking powder. Next we need a teaspoon of salt. So we added our teaspoon of salt. Next we're just going to mix this all together. I'm using just a fork because the next step actually calls for a fork. So I'm just going to mix the flour and the baking powder and the salt all together. Make sure it's fully mixed together. So our next step is that we're going to take warm water. You need about a cup of warm water and add it to the mix. So I'm going to get some warm water real quick. Add your warm water and don't spill it everywhere. And we're going to mix it with a fork until dough forms. Next, we're going to turn out the dough onto a lightly floured surface. I have some flour already on here, but I'm going to put a little bit more onto the surface. And we're going to turn out the dough on there, and we're going to knead it for five minutes. Now, it's important to make sure you knead it for the full five minutes. So I'm going to turn this out onto the surface, like so. Now, when I'm doing anything with dough, I want to make sure my hands are wet because otherwise the dough will stick to your hands while you're trying to work with it. So, you're going to knead the dough for about five minutes. Knead! So while you're kneading the dough, it should start looking more like dough, like so. Not as sticky as it was before. And if you need to add more flour, do so. But just make sure that it is nice and doughy. So now I have about a giant glob of dough. What I'm gonna do is gonna add it to a clean bowl, like so. You wanna add it to a clean bowl and you're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes let, let it rest for 10 minutes, sorry. You're gonna let your bread rest for 10 minutes and you're gonna cover it with saran wrap. I don't have saran wrap, so I'm using aluminum foil. And you're just gonna let it sit, rest for 10 minutes and then we'll be back. So our dough is finished resting. Make sure you've had it resting for 10 minutes. So next we are going to divide the dough, the dough into eight equal sections about golf ball size and you're gonna roll them and knead them out into about roughly six inch discs all around. And you're gonna do it on a lightly floured surface. So we're gonna do that starting now. And make sure when you get done making your disc, you're gonna set them aside on like maybe a separate plate. I floured my plate. I'm gonna set them on there and I'm gonna cover them with aluminum foil. The recipe says to do it with saran wrap or cling wrap. 
but I don't have that, so I'm using a lemon foil instead. So let's get started. And I have a little bowl of water to the side so that I can make sure the dough doesn't stick to my hands. So you're gonna get about roughly a golf ball shaped size of dough. And I'm from the Augusta area. I should know how big a golf ball is. And I don't. So sometimes you have to guess. And that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to roll it on here. And then I'm going to knead it out into about six inch size discs. So, and it doesn't have to be like a perfectly round disc either. I mean, you are just making little, it's almost like little, they're very crispy. So you're just making them as well as you can. So they don't have to be perfect. So I made my first disc. Looks about like that. Not perfectly round. It's fine. You know, when you're cooking, not everything's going to turn out looking like the Food Network. So just make sure you try your best because it's still going to taste good anyways. So our first disc is done. I'm going to cover it with the lemon foil and I'm going to make my other disc. So now you're probably wondering how I'm going to serve these. I am going to make tacos with my fried bread because it's almost crispy like a taco shell. And so I'm gonna make um, little toppings to go with it. Um, so if you like certain types of tacos with beef, you can make beef with it. You can also make these sweet. So you can do savory or sweet. Um, if you wanna do sweet, I usually do like a little honey on it. It's really good. Um, but tonight I'm going to make tacos with my fried bread. So it just depends on if you're feeling something savory or sweet. So when you get done making your fried bread, fried bread, just make sure you make what you want it to be. So our second disc is done and I'm going to keep going and making my discs. Okay, so I'm done making my little cylinders for the fried bread. And when you're done making the cylinders, you're going to heat three cups of oil in a large frying pan over medium heat for about five minutes until the oil temperature reaches about between 350 and 360 degrees Fahrenheit. And while you work on the batches, you're going to work in batches. You're going to fry each disc until it's about golden brown on each side, which should take about between five and seven minutes for each side. And once that's done, you're going to set it onto a plate with a paper towel to drain off the oil. And once it's done, it should look something like this. Now you see how it's turned out kind of crispy. It's golden brown and everything. So it should look like this. It looks very good. Um, when you're done, make sure you set it aside um, in the oven or in a microwave to keep it warm because it's best when it, stayed, when it stays warm. Um, so I hope y'all have a fun time making this. Make sure you're careful when you're frying the fry bread because you don't want to hurt yourself. And also when you're using cooking oil, make sure you don't, depot, don't put it in the sink when you're done. Um, make sure you pour it into a container and safely dispose of it when it's cool. So make sure you take good care of yourself while you're cooking this because you don't want to burn yourself. And I hope you have a fun time making this as I did. So I hope you have a great day. I'll see you at St. Paul's. Thank you.